Welcome to Fat Loss for Women Over 40 series. This is the holiday edition that I'm recording for you. And my intention is to be short and sweet. My name is Catherine Tanaka. I'm a fitness mindset and nutrition coach and the host and producer of this podcast, the Body Project Podcast. And I specialize in supporting busy women over the age of 35, really hone into their fitness, their nutrition, and their mindset so they can optimize their health and really optimize how they show up for themselves, getting over over self-sabotage and really stepping into their most confident, vibrant self. In today's short episode, I'm going to talk to you about one of the pillars of what you can do starting today to set yourself up for success before the end of the year. Many people think that just because we're stepping into the last four or five weeks of the year, that it is really a time of free-for-all and throwing in the towel. But oftentimes people forget that this is a month to set the stage and the momentum so that you can step into the new year feeling your best and really allowing for the momentum of this month to support you and what you desire in the new year. So today we're going to talk specifically about movement. Movement is one of those things, especially if you are in the Northern Hemisphere, like I am in Canada, the climate changes, right? There is already a little bit of snow on the ground. The days are quite short. The sun sets because of daylight savings time now around 5, 530. And it can really put a wrench in your life if you're the, one of the type of people that have been quite active and moving and walking up until this point of the year. This is a simple hack, right? It is about showing up for yourself. This is where the mindset comes into play. Just because it's getting colder out, just because it's darker earlier, doesn't mean you have to cut out activity. In fact, there are simple ways that I'm going to share with you today of how you can maintain, if not improve your activity. Part of what I teach in my programs and what I teach with my clients and even on this podcast is how can you do things even if life starts shifting? How can you maintain and improve your movement even when it gets colder or even when life gets busy and not just at this time of year, but any time of year, in fact? This is the thing that I get my clients to do, bringing intention into your day-to-day, -day, into your week, into your month can be quite pivotal right? Pivotal in that when you set yourself up for success, when you make a plan, when you put a plan in place so that execution can happen, much more often is it going to happen. So here's what the three things you can do to make this month successful going into the end of the year. Make a plan, right? Number one, make a plan. How can you look at your calendar over the next week, over the next four weeks, and actually put in place the workouts that you need to do. If you're the type of person that isn't working out just yet, you can find simple workouts on YouTube. You can even find some Instagram workouts on my page or on my YouTube page, some workouts that are literally 15 to 20 minutes that you can fit in. I know for me, if I don't schedule something into my um, calendar, it doesn't exist. So look at your schedule and say, where can I fit in three 15-minute workouts this week? Even if it's not 15, 10-minute workouts this week, right? That is one simple way. The, the second thing is schedule in the walks, right? Whether it's grabbing a girlfriend, getting your kids involved, getting your partner involved to actually move your body with you every single day. And it can literally be a 20 minute walk, get it in. For example, yesterday, my children had swimming. I know yesterday it was a day that I was with clients all morning and then in front of my computer in the afternoon, and I didn't get an opportunity to get out for a walk. So I know when I looked at my watch at dinner time, I was about 5,000 steps which isn't optimal for me. I like to move at least a minimum of 8,000 steps a day just as a baseline of movement and staying healthy and active. So when my kids went to swimming, I literally strapped on my running shoes and a couple extra layers because it was cold out last night and I went out for a walk. It was only a 20 minute walk. It was a power walk and it was intentional, but I got it in. By the end of the night, I was already at 11,000 steps, which made a big difference for my mood, my physiology, and I know my intention for staying active in this year. And here's the third thing. I know that this month is a crazy time of year. The intentionality is really important. And if you don't have time right now because everything is already scheduled, that's okay. 
Here are a couple hacks to get the movement in anyway. If you work in an office and you are going up stairs, or if you are on the second, third, 17th floor, you can add in more movement by simply number one, parking a little farther away from where you usually park, right? We of course always want the front door entrance, but if you park at the back of the parking lot, if you park a street away, that means you're going to get an extra 5,000 steps in that day, sorry, 500 to 1,000 steps in that day by just walking that extra three to five minutes and three to five minutes back. Back. The second thing, walk an extra flight of stairs, right? If you are accustomed to taking the escalator or the elevator to the office, walk some stairs. And it doesn't mean if you're on the 20th floor that you need to walk all 20, walk five flights, right? This will get your heart pumping. This will get your steps in. And it will not take that much time. If you're the type of person that works from home like me, what I do is I am very intentional. I will fill up my water bottle in the morning, but I know that in order, I know my water bottle is pretty beaten up, but if I, I know that I need to be more active, I will go up and down the stairs. I will go and get a tea every hour. I will go and get water every hour. So I have to walk down a flight of stairs. If you are doing grocery shopping or you're bringing kids to activities or you're doing all the things after you know work hours, park at the back of the parking lot of the grocery store, bring your kids to the activity and then commit to, you know, especially if your kids are in the ages of like five to 10, that they're with an adult and they don't need you to watch every move or older, right? You can go for a 20 minute walk while they're at hockey, while they're at gymnastics, while they're at basketball, whatever it is that they are doing, right? Movement is so fundamental. And also, Here's the thing from a physiological perspective and a mindset perspective, physiologically, keeping yourself active through the month of December will allow for you to stay with the momentum coming into January. It is so much easier to just then continue in January and maybe layer on a couple more things when you have more time and space than it is to start from scratch. This is one of the detrimental things too, that people find that they're more sluggish during the holidays, that they get more sick, that they don't... Um, get enough rest because they're just restless all the time because you're not getting movement in. And it can also slow things down, right? If you're used to getting five, 8,000 steps a day, and all of a sudden, because you're so busy, you're only getting two to three to 4,000 steps, that actually makes a difference on your metabolism and your body's ability to utilize food for energy, right? The second thing in terms of mindset is that if you are keeping the momentum going. And even if it isn't 100% during the month of December, if you're keeping the momentum going in your movement, then from a mindset perspective, you know that you're not starting from ground zero in January, right? Yes, I know that January brings about this new energy of like, I got to get on it. It's the time to reset. It's the start time to start again. But if you are able to keep this movement mindset in place, even if it is a little bit, it really sets you up for the trajectory of ease, right? Because January comes along and you're like, oh my God, I've already been getting 8,000 steps a day consistently or on average 8,000 steps a day in my week. And I've already been doing these three workouts for 10, 15 minutes a day. It actually is a no-brainer to add in one more workout, or it's a no-brainer to add in 20 minutes to a workout, or it's a no-brainer to just continue on the trajectory. And then you're setting yourself up for immense success. I hope this short episode supported you, and I hope that you will really think about how to get your movement mindset in place now. There are less than four weeks until the end of the year, so this is the time to keep your momentum and keep your strides in your movement. Make sure you stay tuned for our next episode where I'm going to talk about nutrition and what you can do starting today that keeps you on track and literally allows you to have your cake and eat it too. This is going to be such a potent episode. Make sure you stay tuned. Bye for now.